Good morning from Helsinki, Finland. We're here on tram. We're gonna do a little bit of sightseeing. We're gonna walk around the city before Linnemaki opens at one o'clock today and then closes at 10 p.m. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna go check out uh, some cool cathedrals and stuff and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. I'm sorry, I'm not fully awake yet. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Just a short like 10, 15 minute train ride away from Linnenmaki is the, I think it's pronounced the Uspenskys Cathedral. Uh, it was designed by a Russian architect. Uh, it's an Eastern Orthodox cathedral here. They just say a lot of people here like want it gone. Yeah, cause it's obviously like very Russian inspired. And so a lot of people in Helsinki we were reading like, want this thing gone. They don't want it here at all. And Especially now. I mean, yeah, as you can see, it's still here. Uh, but architecturally it's beautiful, absolutely stunning. like walking along the streets of Finland doing some gift shopping. What do we find? <laughs> there is a Ferris wheel and a flying theater you ready straight to ahead. Soar it over Finland? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> There's no way this can be good. Like it does not look that big. You know what? I'm not going to knock it till I try it. I'm kind of excited. I say let's do it. You know what? Yeah, like it, it's an attraction. It's a ride. Why not? This flying theater is literally in a box. Why is it in a giant shipping container? Looks like they offer combo tickets for 22 euros where you can do the flying theater and the wheel over there. We're gonna pass on the wheel also because I think it's closed, but the flying theater is open. They have like a full bar and like desserts in here. And they offer two different experiences. You can fly over Helsinki or you can fly over Finland and they're both the same price. So we're gonna do the Finland one. All right, here we go. So we're gonna sit in these seats and they're gonna slightly move around. I'm very excited. For 12 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just got out of the flying cinema. This is about what I expected from a roadside attraction we'd never heard of. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The scenery was good. The scenery, they had some good shots. They had some good shots. Um, the system is interesting because, you know, unlike uh, Soren or some of the other traditional flying theaters where, you know, you're kind of suspended over this, oh, no, you know, it just it. rises up and then, yeah, it moves around a bit. Um, it reminded me of the ride system they use on um, Despicable Me. Yes, yes. I would definitely like say it's reminiscent of that. Um, they, had a, they did a couple things that were different. So um, one of the big things is they had some text, as you saw, where they'd come out and then they'd say some like facts about Finland and stuff. So it was informational. Out. Yeah, and when it's like 12 minutes long, it's like, okay, yeah, that, that was pretty good. Uh, the weird part to me that kind of threw me off is they, you know, everything is probably shot by like helicopters. So they would have some moments where they'd speed up the footage a lot and then they'd like stop it so that it's in real time or they'd slow it down and like sometimes that transition was a little a little jarring, a little weird, you know? Oh, um, just, it's fine. It's fine though. Like the average person who does this and is paying $12 to do it isn't gonna care. You it's know? actually pretty popular. There's it it was, there, like there's a doing decent it. amount of people doing it. So, I mean, you know, more power to them. It's uh, clearly in a, a popular area right here by uh, some of these cathedrals. And now we're gonna walk over to do uh, the other main cathedral that is over here in the heart of Helsinki. Welcome to the Helsinki Cathedral. This was built in the 1800s as an evangelical Lutheran church. And it is beautiful. Look at this plaza. Up we go. I'm walking. I win. There's just a random turtle statue here on the pathway. 
If you rub his head, you get good luck. I didn't actually know that, I just made it up. A little breakfast, lunch, snack right here. This is quiche. Quiche. There are mini quiches. Mini quiches in this uh, cute little cafe here on site. Is it good? Oh, good. Excellent. And there it is, Lynn and Maki. Oh man, so excited to be here. Who are Lynn and Maki? <laughs> so what's interesting about this park is that it is normally free to enter. However, during this certain time of year, they're doing what they call the Carnival of Lights, and so they actually charge 15 euros to get in. But usually, you just walk right in. This is the view you get right when you walk in. The Mauer like Sky heart. Loop. It is pretty wild looking, you also see the uh, brakeman operated wind roller coaster, very similar to Rushabanin at Bakken. Oh, better than that one. I know, same. But is there a girl straddling the track? Uh, no. Not a school thing. <laughs> and then here's our entrance right here. Oh, look how cute this is. It's very cute. I love all the colors. Welcome inside Linamaki. Immediately to the right, we have entrance to Sea Life. Wait, yeah. is that like the same one that we have in Orlando? Yeah, they have that here. Yeah, so I, I imagine this is a separate admission that would make sense. And they have the streaming service Peacock. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's and the same thing. And guys eating ice cream. What? Oh my gosh, it's Taiga. It's crazy that this is like one of the first attractions you get to right when you walk in. I thought we were going to have to work for it. Like we are going to have to like struggle yeah. through this park to get no, to No, it's like right bam right there. Now, spoiler alert, we did already ride it. Last Our night, we came in for the last like 45 minutes the park was closing we paid for one ride so <laughs> traditionally you can just enter for free you can pay per attraction so one ride on taiga is 10 euros and so today we have wristbands so we're gonna get a bunch more rides on taiga but we didn't want to wait <laughs> no we're not doing taiga first we're doing the zack spin first because you hate me <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I found it. Introducing the most pointless ride in the world. <laughs> that exists for no reason. Yeah, I mean, it, it flipped once. And it wasn't even a good flip. Like, that is the shortest layout ever. Like, I get it, you know. It's very like, short. It's, but there is nothing to this ride. It has no redeeming qualities other than it looks cool. It's smooth. It is, sm is smooth, yeah, but like, it does nothing. Don't like, you that. glide on straight track, you fall under yourself, you fall again, and then you do one flip. And it's not even like a good flip. I miss the chicken coaster. I do too. Get the credit and never ride it again. I thought you were saying forget it. That would have rhymed. Credit and forget it. All right, next up is, uh, I, I don't know. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Whatever. It's the only mock rides e-motion coaster to exist, though. And for some reason, they decided to give it the same colors as Taiga, which is... Not great. I don't know, that seems like a poor design choice in my opinion. This is the world's only mock ride to e-motion coaster. Let's see why it's the only one. Ah, uh, I'm a little scared. I don't know. Jeez, I'm kind of scared. Why does I feel like this is going to be like a wild mouse? Oh. 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 oh! Yeah, it is a wild mouse. Okay, Basically. all right. Look. All right. Yeah. I'm only fearing for my life in this. kind of janky. Wait, what the? Is it rocking side to side? What? 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 I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, 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 what? Oh, Why oh. is this here? That is awful. Mock, I like you guys, but what are you doing? Oh. What? Oh my god. That is terrible. So, I don't it's do a wild again. mouse that's like, oh, oh, and then it's also like, meanwhile, the wheel bogeys attached to the track are like, I feel like. What did Jake say that one time? Like someone picked up their child and angrily put them down? That's yeah. That's what that just felt like. <laughs> but not in a good way. Uh, yeah, that's a thumbs down for me. I understand why it's the only one ever built. <laughs> I have emotions and they are negative. <laughs> We're doing the Ferris wheel. There's no line. And we want views of this beauty. Up we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, and look at Tyga. Oh, this is awesome. Here 
we go. Taiga entering the queue through the trees. You know what you find in the woods? Vending machines. This whole park is built on a hill, so a lot of the pathways go up and downhill. Here's our graffiti wall. This is our line on one train. Where should we go? Front? Probably. Might as well. They're playing I'm a score in the station. Love this atmosphere. Look at this on the back wall. You know what's a satisfying thought? What? Uh, we're the only ones in line for Taiga. Our first front row ride on Taiga. I liked it better at front. Yeah, front row is great. It has some really whippy moments, you know? Like, I wouldn't even say it's like the most like airtime centric ride or anything, but like- I it's, don't know, I got yeeted a bit. It does have some good moments, but it, like it, overall, just the pacing is like really well done. This is a really, really great ride. Um, I think we should ride in the back. Lap two for today on Taiga. We're gonna take a break for a little bit. Uh, we did I the back need row. One after that, that, that is it packed some G's. Yeah. It's so intense. I'm like, I need a. I I'm mean, honest. like, you know how, like, the, after the first launch, you know, like, typically when they have a multi launch coaster, the first part is like the warm up. This one, I gray out in the first part. Yeah. Like, Absolutely, there's a turn where you're like, holy crap, and then like, again, like later on, it just like starts whipping you through all these different moments, and it's just like a mess of track. You have no idea where you're going next. Yeah, I like it a lot better today than I did last night. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And sticking with the theme, empty station. Bye guys. Woo! Mine train time. We're on a power coaster. It is like really long train. Yeah, this thing goes up forever and we're in the last row because, you know, why not? <laughs> ah. Helix. We're going to get a good view of Taiga. Uh, Look at it. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Wow. See, when you ride this, you can really appreciate that they built that ride like, <laughs> kind of on top of each other. There's like, like three rides like all in this one spot. <laughs> that's pretty cool use of space. <laughs> now that we've knocked out those rides, we're heading to this side of the park. We haven't even seen this area yet. Look at this. Again, this much like Tucson Free, this whole park is built on like a hillside. This is really, really cool. There's like a seating area and look, there's just like a drop off. There's like these big like rock structures like everywhere throughout the park. Like even right here, you can see just like a bunch of rocks like in the hill. It's really awesome. It's such a unique kind of setting for a theme park. All right, so we met up with the local. Go ahead and introduce yourself and then tell us what these are that you gave us. <laughs> so my name is Lauri and uh, these are salamiaki, which is basically salted licorice. Uh, flavored with ammonium chloride and it's very popular in Nordic countries, especially in Finland. Now, these are Swedish, <laughs> so it's not the same. If we don't, basically what you're saying is if we don't like them, then he, he doesn't take accountability for them. These yeah, are, yeah, they're, they're not theirs. <laughs> Finla Finland Corporation doesn't... <laughs> I just want to put on record that I don't even like licorice to begin with, so... I'm scared of what it's going to taste like with ammonium chloride. Isn't yeah. that like, that sounds like poison. Okay. Ready? Three. Yeah. Two, one. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> that is disgusting. That would be the nastiest thing. Oh. You like this stuff? Yeah, good stuff. Show that. Show us the. That is nasty. So we're eating at this burger place. Look at these. Look at the buns. They're different colors. Look at the green one though, especially. That is so weird. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. Uh, so what? what is this? Uh, it's Everything. cookie with uh, ice cream and all kinds of uh, toppings. I see popcorn and marshmallows. Everything. That's crazy. Thank you. Oh, you split it for us too? Uh, oh, thank you. That's so kind of you. Thank wow. You. We stepped foot out of our restaurant and we have a bunch of these clowns dancing around. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? 
<laughs> Hello? <laughs> what? Ma'am, I'm just trying to film. We're walking to the wind coaster. Right here in the center of Lin and Maki is this water tower. Or at least it used to be a water tower. And now there's actually a ride in there, which we're gonna do later. But here's a cool little history about the park. So originally, Lin and Maki, you know, when they were trying to get started, the city told them, hey, you can't build in the center of the city because they didn't want to disturb everything. And so they said, build up on this hill around this water tower. And so they put the park all around it and then they were trying to come up with a name for it and so the water tower in Finnish translates to water castle and so they decided to name the park Linamaki which translates to Castle's Hill. Alright and here's the entrance to our wooden coaster which is called uh, I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm not even gonna bother with That's that one. Right. How do you say it? <laughs> How do you pronounce this? Alright yeah that. And that means what? Roller coaster. Alright great name. <laughs> Alright we're doing it we're riding the Brakeman coaster. We're sitting towards the back. You can see the brake person. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same layout as Rushaban and Bakken. Minus the lady. Minus the lady. No, <laughs> no airtime yet. I'm but holding out smoke. We still got time. <laughs> It is smooth. It's about as tame as the one at uh, Bakken. That's true. Oh, I got oh, God. Oh. And that's it. Break Woman Coaster was I fine. I, d I think she was a little uh, break heavy. <laughs> but right. we can try again later. Maybe get a night ride or something. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it's definitely about as tame as the one at uh, Bakken, so... I did get a little air time. Tivoli Gardens is it. still staying strong. Next up we're doing Uko. Hey, so you've never done one of those things before. What do you think? I'm not gonna lie. That was actually kind of scary. <laughs> it kind of is. Like, going up the vertical, like, straight vertical lift, I was like, alright, alright. And then you just keep going and you're like hanging there upside down and all you have is like the lap bar thing and I was like this is it this is gonna be the one time that the restraint <laughs> fails me I'm going I'm gone and that clearly that didn't happen but I'm not gonna lie it scared me for a second it, it's actually pretty fun that was actually the first time I've done one of the smaller ones because I've done Abismo at uh, Parc de Attractions in uh, Madrid but this one is like the more traditional kind. Uh, Abysma is the weird one. Uh, it, it's pretty solid though, you know? Uh, the only part that jolts you is when it catches the chain, like going back down. It's like, uh, it brace yourself. It reminded me of um, Aftershock. It's yes, the one where yes. it like pulls you up on the holding brake for a second and you're yep, just like. Totally. <laughs> All right, engineering nerds, it's your time to gawk. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the support structure. So you have the rapids right here, which is obviously not open but they have this column just going all the way across to hold up this turn into the station from the brakes. That's pretty impressive. That's a that's good use of space right there. Also, uh, we have like goose theming or something. Next up, their Mauer Spinner. Which has a very interesting like... Backstory? Set of ba yeah, yeah, it has like the, the national epic of Finland, which is, I don't have enough time to tell it because we're almost at the top already. I know. So. Oh. Oh. <laughs> While the weather here changes fast, it started raining, so we're immediately going straight for the indoor coaster. I swear it was like sunny like two seconds ago. What? Here we got some signs. The old name right here was called Space Express, and the new name, after they turned it over to everyone, is called Milky Way. At least it translates to that. What are you doing? I'm trying to Whoa. access the outer room.
we just rode Finland Space Mountain. <laughs> it was very retro, very like like old school. Like I loved a lot of like uh, what's the word? Wood like, cutouts with like yeah, like eighties like space theming like the on UV it. UV lights or whatever they're called. Yeah, it was very dim, so we didn't uh, POV it because you, honestly the GoPro probably wouldn't pick up on any of it. But uh, it was it was fun. It was charming. I, you know? I liked it. It was actually a little bit more uh, crazy than I thought it would be. Yeah. Right next to Taiga is a dark ride. We're gonna do it. Is there something poking my back? <laughs> what on earth? What is this ride? Is she in the shower? Oh, that's what I look like in the morning too, girl. Sorry. That dark ride is so wonderful and weird <laughs> and it's hilarious. So weird. <laughs> I, you know what? I gotta applaud them for like their use of different types of effects. Like yes. they were creative about it. Like, yes, the animatronics were. They're like, wow! And, and it was like, kept, it comes you. at you like slowly. It's like, but like there was a thing that like jabbed my back and like there, and there was like was some air it blew air. vibrating. Yeah, it was so it was so old school. It's charming. It, it, you know what? It kind of reminded me of something that, like Wiener Prodder. Yeah, you know, we like, should a ride again. <laughs> Screw Tiger, let's just do this. All day marathon. So we walked up to the drop tower, Kingy, and I thought it was intimate. It's not. It's Moser. It's your favorite. It's Mock Tower, guys. It's like I'm back at home. They have another dark ride here called. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that. It's All right. Magic Circus. Magic Circus. That's what it translates to. What? Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's nightmare fuel right there. What on earth was that? Uh, that is going to be the subject of my nightmares for the next six years. That's that, what it was. That was... Oh, man. Look how cool this lighting is. Wow. This looks great. So right here we have an attraction that's closed. A roller coaster, well, that some may consider a roller coaster, some may not. It's powered the whole time. It's just this uh, kids attraction you hop in planes. Reminds me of the, there's one at uh, Park Day Attractions that looks similar. Also, I think Fuji Q has something that kind of looks similar. All right, just as a safety reminder, uh, <laughs> I can't put, I, I give up. All right, we're trying out the front row now, and it's raining. I love the lights on this thing at night. This is it's, awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. It's the carnival of lights. All right, I'm going to lose my hat. Woo! <laughs> Whee! Double down right here. I think so. I think we're about to get yeeted. Uh, oh, a little bit. And. Oh, oh my gosh! What? Wait! That was like Rushabon at Tivoli Gardens vibes. Like. Did you know about that? Yes. Oh my gosh, that was awesome! I was just standing. I was, my back got airtime. Like, that thing could have gone like sky high. Wait, are we about to do it again? I don't know, we're about to do it again. Okay, okay. okay. Nope, false oh, alarm. All right, that was it. <laughs> Most of the ride wow. is like not great, but that one part Holy is crazy. Uh, so that automatically makes it better than the one at Bakken because you don't get that on the one at Bakken. I did the front row on that one. It's not. It's there was nothing, nothing to it. You wrote it too. Yeah, I know. I just let me have fun. All right, so this is called a cloudberry waffle. What's it taste like? I don't really know what to compare it to, honestly. Kind of strawberry-ish, but not. We're returning to Taiga this time for night rides. They've loaded a second train onto Taiga. Yay. As we go for a back row ride. Here we are. This is ride number four for us. <laughs> I was trying to get out of the way, like, <laughs> and you put me on Amazing. camera. Amazing. I have this mentality that I try to 
Bailey. All right, so we just rode Tyga like four more time. times, something like that, um, it's because it's really good. And it's also not that busy. <laughs> no, no, like it definitely is a longer line than it was earlier. The park has filled in a bit more. Uh, they have the night of it. Exactly, exactly. Um, the ride is still running fantastic. It is, it is great. So we tried out. Uh, the front row, second row, uh, back row, we did row seven, which is the third to back. The reason we tried that one is because some of the team members here were saying, row seven is better it, than the back. It doesn't shake. Because of, it doesn't have the intimate shake, the, the rattle to it. The intimate shake, that sounds like a dance. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's, it's pretty smooth. You still got the whip of the back. I would still say overall, though, I think I like the front the best. Yeah, me too. And we kind of said that it reminds us of like a couple things about like Velocicoaster. You get vibes of Taren. Definitely Taren vibes, yeah. Um, some of like the like the helices, like they were pretty intense. Pull forces me like Maverick. Maverick, yeah. So uh, when you factor all these in, uh, like Taiga is like, I mean, every element hits on that to thing. Me it's like, like an intimate greatest hits ride. Yeah, like there's no bad moments of that attraction. So, I just wish the last inversion, I'm like, if you were like swap that out for like the most source roll, it'd be legit like an Intamin's Greatest Hits. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I mean, the last roll's still great, but it's not the most source roll, you know? So, um, I, and is. I think we still say we like the uh, second launch better on Velocicoaster. Well, it takes and, it much faster. It like really yeah. rolls into it like at a fast I might still like Terran's second launch more than this one, too. Um, but I mean, again, like this is one we're getting like real specific here. Like, this is like we've reached like maximum nerditude. I know, I know. And then we start breaking everything down. It's like, well, even though I like this more than Pantheon, Pantheon has the better like top hat. It's like, all right. Like, so it's like, do you really care? Yeah, it's like, all right, guys, it, it's it's really good. What would Adam say if you were here? It's, it's good. It's good. I liked it. I'd ride it again. What else do you want me to say? <laughs> I love the lights and colors around this park. There's so many cool pathways too. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. All right, next up we're doing this kind of haunted walkthrough attraction that you can experience year round here. We're told it's pretty old, so should be a, a funny experience. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one of these places. Oh, I love this. <laughs> oh no. Wait, is this like a mirror mi Oh. It is. Wait, what? I don't know where I'm going. Yep, that felt pretty old. <laughs> I for one loved it. It's a classic. It's great, guys. Go through it for the charm and the, the fact that it's like, it's like one of those, like, it's so bad, it's good, you know? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right, so dinner's served. We're eating in this cafe and they have different kinds of pizza. So, this is ham and pineapple, which I have ordered, and Sarah got a mozzarella one. Looks great, and actually like, fairly reasonably priced, and this is a specialty in Finland. Reminds me of like poutine in Canada. Makara means sausage, and then uh, peruna means potato, so it's sausage with potatoes. All right, the end is near. We have come to get our last rides on Taiga for the night. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Did you just record me saying that? Yeah. <laughs> yes, can I help you? Why are you eating Taiga? Well, I'm done riding it, so it basically doesn't need to exist anymore, so I'll just eat it. Yeah, is it good? Is the ride good? Yeah. The lollipop's pretty good too. And that does it for our day here at Linen Maki. This was an awesome time. I had like, a great time. Yeah, I mean, all of the attractions here are super fun. The park is like beautiful, uh, such a lively, fun atmosphere. And 10 rides on Taiga, I think, is what we ended on. Like, I kind of think we had nine. Well, we got one yesterday, so <laughs> 10 total, whatever. He's like, I'm not leaving without double digits. Well, and we also got to thank Lowry for Honestly, like, yeah. being an amazing host. Like, this dude was like, like showing us like all the best stuff to see here, he made like everything. Like, ten out of 10 days. like oh, yeah, yeah. In incredible stuff. So thank you so much for like being a fantastic the host. Says, thank you. <laughs> yes, I got a lollipop. Yes, I'm almost 27. No, I don't care what you think. <laughs> whatever. All right. <laughs> 
we're gonna go ahead and walk back to our Airbnb because we are within walking distance, so that's an awesome perk. And um, that's gonna really conclude it for this Finland section. So uh, tomorrow we're gonna be doing some sightseeing. We're gonna be flying over to Stockholm. We won't be documenting that for the trip because uh, the next one will be for Grönland, and we have a whole separate day planned for that one. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a good time, but definitely if you get the chance to come out to Helsinki, be sure to visit Linnanmaki. You will not regret it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios. And we'll see you next time. You okay, Patrick?